I don't recommend it. Oh, you feel like you offended? You know why? Hey, can I preach? You can preach. Let me preach. Hey, can I teach? You can teach. Then let me teach. Hey, can I preach? You can preach. Then let me preach. Hey, can I teach? You can teach. Then let me teach. Hey, they say I'm legalistic cause I wanna be terrific They like okay you can preach but play like don't be too specific But everyone in know I'm speaking like I mean it So just you In here sir but the Bible says that Jesus Christ said To go preach the gospel into the whole world Okay I understand that but yeah. I'm just saying that You're annoying a lot of people so you can keep calling us That's fine the People say it an annoyance but I'm still gonna do it Cause I have the right to you know preach the gospel and that's real love you know a lot of uh so-called christians should be doing the same thing but they're uh ashamed or they're like they're afraid of what people say i'm not i have the holy ghost you understand so i'm here to say souls from you know preach the gospel and help help them point to you know help them get saved through jesus christ by telling them like the gospel denomination or you just like no denominations just a uh, follower of jesus christ you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No denomination, no church, just walk around just preaching with a sign? Uh, I have signs, I have tracks here. Like, um, is that like a King James Bible? Yeah, King James Version Bible. You said you, and you said you were a Catholic, but we gotta be careful because the Catholic Church, um, unfortunately, doesn't go by the Bible. Really? They, they go, uh, they pull them. If you go to a church, you'll see uh, statues and idols that they worship go like that over your heart. The Bible says doesn't say anything about that. Like you said, man. And, see, that's, that's actually going against the law, God's law. Gotcha. Yeah. So the oldest Christian faith doesn't go by the Bible. It maybe used to, but you know, I think since the beginning, they uh, it was uh, ordinances of man. Uh, like ordinances, like they had uh, laws, like all the, the old, like first Paul, they, like back, way back then, they made up their own rules. So you know, unfortunately, that doesn't apply to so if the word of like God. Created a new religion because he wanted to get like a divorce and murder his wife and learn a Bible about it. You would disagree with that, like King James. Well, um, only God. What's only the, the, I don't know. I, what was that? King James? Not King James Version? King James, but uh, was it like Henry VIII or something? Like he wanted a divorce and he couldn't get one, so he like started his own religion and then like killed his wife. You know what I'm talking about? No, I'm not sure about that history. But even then, like uh, I re we read about the we read about the history, but how do we know that's true? We know the Bible's true because you know it's the word of God and Bible prophecy. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. That's a book from a city. Okay. That's now, can I keep that or I just Absolutely. look at it? You can, you can look it online. Okay. Yeah, you can look. The, all the ordinances are on Cedar Point. website. You can look it up. Can we look about that quote? Yeah, yeah. They're all like... I just want to document it. Yeah. Leaf blower? So, no, no, no. no, no. They're different. Either. So they're like different noise ordinances, okay? And this is residential area right here, sir? Yes. The, the building right here? Yes. The residential area? Just, just so you know. Okay. So if you want, you can take pictures as well. That's fine. And Where is it? Which one? Right here? Yeah. So, noise ordinance unlawful for any person on location yeah. in the city to create or allow and any noise on property pages. owned. Yeah, there are two pages. I'll flip you like when you're oh, ready. Oh, the, the decibels right there, 55 decibel. Right. So I'll just like flip it so you can see that as well. And you can find all the ordinance on City of Orange's website. Okay. You can do uh, municipal code and you can see all the um, ordinances right there. And this is considered as park. Okay. This is one of the parks. Oh, it says to exceed 55 decibels. No, I know, I know, but like they are different. So if you go here as well, they are like, so when it goes to the park, church, hospital, schools, okay. So again, like I understand, but that's a residential housing up there. So there are apartments right there. There, there, so those are all apartments. Okay, so um, I can use amplification. Of oh, the you can preach, that's fine. That's nothing wrong with your preaching. It's just like, Try not to use not uh, to do yeah, because they're gonna call us again, and I don't right. want to interfere with you preaching every time. I don't want to come and talk to you over and over because. So it's okay if I turn it down below 55 decibels. Well, you know? I, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I'm fine with it. However, I don't know like your less than 55 is how much to somebody else walking around. You know? Right. So that's what it is. We can measure if you guys want. It'd be best if you just didn't use a blowhorn or any 
Yeah, you can preach. I just fine. with my voice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's like that's completely fine. There's nothing wrong. With uh, what, what was your name? Good. Office Patel. Patel. Yeah, yours? I talked to you before, right? Oh, yeah, same I think so. Thing, years ago. For same thing, I talked to you before. I explained the same thing. But yeah, but I wasn't using the bullhorn back. I was just doing the word of God and um, preaching the word of God. And That's then some people it. complain again. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people just, complain around here. Yeah, well, I understand. And it's just like, again, like how people see it. Like, yeah. if they don't see it as the way you should try to, like, tell them, like, they don't get the message that way. I don't know. Yeah. When they come, we'll come and speak to you. Right. Yeah. That's fine. Are you good? I'm good. You know, I'm I won't use amplification. I yeah. just uh, use my voice. Yeah, yeah. And you know, impeding traffic, so that's perfect. You know? Yeah. They're not doing anything. I'm a public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good? You good? So, yep. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank officer. you, sir. You have a good Thank morning. you so much. Take care. How you long too. are you planning on being out here today? Uh, not the for long. I'm gonna go do another area. What area is that? Probably uh, another college or something. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna we'll roam around. You know, that's all I like to do preaching. Uh, thank you guys for your your no, your, no worries, your service. Yeah, no worries. Thank Make, you. Uh, thank you very much as well to try and understand us. It's just like yeah. If you want, you can go to Orange's website and get the municipal code. So all you need, and then you can select the place where you want to preach. Yeah. That's fine as well. And that is updated. Yeah, that's okay. uh, that's the uh, latest one which we have 2016. But you okay. still can go online and get the latest one as well. Okay. 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 Thank you so much, guys, no, officers. No, no worries. Take I care. appreciate it. Yeah, these aren't parables, though. Like, you know, for yeah, example, that, uh, we got to read the whole chapter, man. Yo, That's no, it, yo. I've, I've read the Bible twice. In fact, yeah. I'm high functioning autistic. So you read the whole Bible twice. The whole Bible. Yes, from and the Quran. Genesis to Revelation. Twice, and the Quran. Okay. And the Satanist Bible. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm highly autistic, and so like for me, we kind of obsess over things, and I'm a hard anarchist. Yeah, so I'm over obsessive with philosophy in order to be an anarchist in order to really claim any belief system i feel like you have no contra contradictory belief system so yeah man um the bible is a horrible book actually i mean it justifies the most worst stuff it justifies slavery rape genocide it's very homophobic um and absolutely does not save from hell in fact philosophically dude like he could erase the concept of hell right right um well the bi the the bi the, yes the, i keep reading the word of bible i haven't read everything but the thing is uh we have to be born again sir right that's what my dad born again. says yeah your dad says that yeah he's a hard... your dad's right how come you don't listen to your uh, what your dad says Oh, like, I didn't have a choice, man. I was, um, unfortunately, brainwashed forcefully into the religion from birth, so right. it wasn't until I started... You think it's brainwashed, but that's love, bro. Love. I, I thought it was true, but I thought it was too, because my, my mom and dad raised me in the church, but I thought it was brainwashing, but it's not, because the Bible says, train up a child in the way they should go, and later they will not depart from it. Right, right. So... You know? You so... Know, I mentioned I'm an anarchist, right? So I'm against reproduction, but if I were to have a kid... I wouldn't teach it, bring it up to be anarchist. So that would be brainwashed too. You have to let your kid make your own decisions. So Their you don't believe decisions. that a man and woman should have kids? Um, I'm against reproduction philosophically, correct. And physically? I know that. How yeah, come? How, how, you if, if no one had kids, then the world would go extinct. The world would be a lot better without humans, man. Look at what we do. War, industrialization, overpopulation. That's what, because, you know, man, man a lot of uh, times I've, man has not listened. That's why. We have forgotten uh, the ways of old, you know, the, um, the real truth. Because mm. way back when, way back when, could take it way, way, way back, right? Yeah. Everybody knew the, uh, the, the only one God, the God of Israel, you know. Even, be, even before Israel, there's only, everybody knew there's only one God. Mm-hmm. But after that, uh, everyone, you know, tried to build a tower, that tower a long time ago, Tower of Babel, right. Tower of Babel. And then they become races, so different races, and uh, they go, oh, so they, oh, this race is better than, uh, this people are better than my people. Uh, you know, and this and that, or trying to, um, you know, 
we created money. And, oh, I got money. I'm better than you. That's not, that's not, that's not what it's about. So now, fast forward today, people are saying for uh, trans age. Now I'm not. Uh, I'm not uh, 32. I'm actually a 14 year old uh, teenage dog, uh, teenage girl. Transgender. Yeah, right. Transgender. Right. Trans age. I don't know if you mm -hmm. heard of that, but not even transgender. It's getting ridiculous, man. It's getting really ridiculous, and you know, the Lord called me out here to preach today because you know, so we need to hear the truth. Right. We need to hear the the, uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Is all, the Bible's the only truth we have in this wicked, evil world. So, by preaching the gospel, then you you realize you're you're once again pro slavery. Like, how do you feel about the parts in the Bible that justify slavery, for example? You know. Uh, for example, it says that if you beat your slave um, and he or she gets up after four days, then you have done no wrong. Complete justification of slavery right there. The Bible never condones slavery. Slavery was, was, uh, was going on back then. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And don't just read the verses. They read the whole like chapter. Maybe uh, oh, yeah, a couple I have chapters in the book. Twice. And uh, never does it say, oh... Uh, God said, God says it's, it's okay for slavery. But to be it okay. does. It, it absolutely does. Let me pull it up. Pull it up. Uh, we, it we'll it to totally do, does. We'll yeah. Do a study, man. Because, like I said before, to really understand the Word of God, we have to be born again. Because it's a different language. Just like um, if I was speaking in Spanish, I don't know if you, you understand Spanish. You I don't, don't understand know. Spanish at all, right? That's correct. So, if I were to speak Spanish to you, like between me and him, yeah. you'd be like, kind of offended like what okay what are you talking about talk about me or you know what's, what's, yeah, yeah. what's going on same thing in the bible the right god if i start talking about the word of god it's the biblical language heavenly you know heavenly uh dialogue yes and so you you can't understand it unless you're born again but yeah that's what my dad said too. your dad's right, right. because um, the holy ghost enters your life and you uh, god gives you wisdom and you know, and yeah, that, that's what happens. But when there's parts of the Bible that I'm going to pull up right now that strictly say it's okay to own slaves and beat them, I will bet you fifty dollars right now. We will make a legal contract binding. I have Wells Fargo. We can so, go to the bank. Listen, that's not about money, I'll man. Pull it's, it up. It's about the uh, the bottom line is yeah that things were different back then. Mm -hmm. Like things will be different fifty years Packages. from now. Yeah. And so you know the Lord delivers. You know uh the truth when we become born again yeah he gives us uh how you say it a new heart a new a new spirit and you know a new life yeah so you know and it, that's that's the main focus you have to do once you become born again you give your life fully to the to god to yeah. the most high then you'll start seeing things different right. then at that point in time then you'll say oh Maybe, uh, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I should look at things differently. Maybe, uh, I was wrong back then. But, but. There's no buzz about it. So no, there is. A, there no there is. When the Bible it. says it's okay to rape, it right? It never says that. And it does. No, uh, it never says hold that. Hold on. Rape. Uh, maybe the, the, the Quran. The Quran maybe says that, but Dude. not the Bible. Uh, oh, wait. I was, I was getting to, to, to slavery really quick, and then I can go to rape. You see me preaching over? That's why you came over, huh? You see me preaching earlier? Yes. You recalled or something? They called you? <laughs> um, Listen, man. I mean, if you haven't read the Bible right, that's cool, but I have twice. Uh, Exodus 21. You can read it five, ten times, but you're not born again. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. But Unfortunately, you cannot understand but, the word of God unless you become born again but like God says to. that's such a cop out when you read it right here when it says explicitly right what that you can beat a slave if a man beats his male or female slave with a club and the slave dies as a result the owner must be punished if the slave recovers within a day or two then the owner shall not be punished since the slave is his property right this is justifying when the Israelites came in and um, yelled at the wall right brought it down they killed the men they took the women to rape them and they took the kids and and this is right after that so right there it is justifying slavery and i can pull up other verses that justify rape for example if a guy rapes a girl and um rapes a girl and gets caught then the guy has to pay the the father 
30 shekels of silver and that victim has to has to marry her rapist so your bible you said you didn't read it fully and again i'm autistic so i'm, I'm obsessed with this shit i've i've read a few different shit because i'm obsessed with philosophy and i'm telling you after reading it after being a christian for 16 years that it absolutely justifies rape Slavery. So you 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 were a Christian before? Uh, for like sixteen 10 years? years. Yeah. And now now you're not, so you become a reprobate. Uh, unfortunately, I been a you know. Christian so for fifteen years. Listen, right? I, I I urge you to give your right back to the Lord, man, because and you know the rapist, the, pedophile, child molester it, that the Bible says is okay. No, 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 no. But I it never said, said it's said okay. Back then, the back rapers. then things were different. Back then. Yeah, yeah. The law, the, the the you know the law was different back then, and there was slavery around. But nowadays it's not. But, but still, there's still people get yeah. raped. But that doesn't apply today. There's now we have the law. If rapists, if someone's raped, they they'll get thrown in jail. But it does apply today. Because the Old Testament is still valid if you look at Luke. Val valid only to the moral laws, not the, you know, we have to eat certain food or wear fabrics right. or, or threads or something. No, no. That, that, that is done away with because Jesus Christ said not to, he came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. Yes, you yes. know it, right, yes. until the whole of the law is fulfilled. So with the rape, for example, you would still have to, if you're preaching, if you're a Christian, you have to be okay with rape, no. slavery, the, the child Bible, abuse. The Bible never I says can, that. I just pulled up slavery. Let me pull up rape, man. Oof. The thing is, it, you have to be born again, like I told you. You have to have the Holy Ghost in your life. What's that? Have What's to do stopping with the you? Bible? What's that has Nothing to do with the Bible. But that has nothing yeah. to do with the fact that it says if you rape a girl and the rapist pays the dad ten pieces of silver, then the victim has to marry the rapist, whether you're born again or not. The Bible does say that in uh, Deuteronomy 22, 28 to 29. No, Your it, Bible you're making, is, taking it out of context though, man. No, I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, taking really it out. not. It's, it's hardcore black and white. So I don't know. I'll go, but you're, I would you're really... Taking it, I urge you, uh, before you go, I urge you to give your life to the Lord, man. Yeah. Because I guarantee you 100% that it does, it does not condone, it does not say it's okay. It says back then to do that okay mm -hmm. but when Jesus Christ came yeah when Jesus Christ came all that changed all that was, you know, was done away with and so we call him the Lord we call him Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in every situation every circumstance because there's power in the name of Jesus right go well, in peace man yeah my bus is here definitely alright just think about